this next exercise, we're going to talk about dynamics. Dynamics control, this is where your volume comes into place. You know that we have two hands when we play piano. Usually, the right hand is where you play the melody. And the left hand is where you play the harmony. Harmony is where you harmonize your melody. And usually we want to let the left hand be a little bit softer and the right hand will be a little bit louder, okay? When we talk about dynamics, we talk about different terms in terms of the volume. In music, if you look at any kind of a music score, you see that sometimes there's a FF or sometimes there's a PP that stands for loud and soft. Those are Italian terms. FF stands for fortissimo and the PP stands for pianosimo. Usually you play really soft. In this exercise, we're going to have your left hand play two notes. This two notes is based on your G chord. With G chord, you have G, B, and D. And now we're just going to take the B and D. And try to play this in eighth note. Make sure you do it evenly. So you're not sometimes fast, sometimes slow. With beginners, sometimes we encounter the problem where the finger is not very uh, good at controlling the strength. Sometimes certain fingers want to play loud and certain fingers want to play soft. In this case, we want to make sure they are evenly. And play it loud. Play it soft. Very good, okay? Now with your right hand, you, you, you want to use some kind of a G scale. In this case, we're going to use a G, A, B, C, and D. Any of those notes, we're going to make up a melody while your left hand is going to play just as two notes. And you want to make sure the right hand is slightly louder than the left hand. Since we are the melody hands with the right hand, so the left hand needs to harmonize it with a softer tone. You notice I'm making up music based on the G scale. Okay, now let's bring up the volume with the left hand. Let's see if you can make this left hand louder than the right hand. You notice how awkward this is when your harmonizing note is louder than your melody note. Now I'm showing you a contrast, a dynamics contrast, which is the volume contrast. Also, you can consider to move your right hand to the left hand part. And make sure to write the, the right hand play louder. This is where we call the cross hand. Okay? So that is an exercise for you to work on. Once you're good with the three and fifth with the G chord, you can also consider to play the root and the, the root and the fifth. You're gonna play the G and D. more enjoyable because you are making music 